Welcome fellow airsoft players and enthusiasts, channel host Marshmallow. And in this series we are going to be tackling the Crytek LMG, uh, more specifically the upgrades that we're going to put into it. Uh, this will be a multi-part series, but a great one nonetheless, so stick around. Now that we've broken down the uh, Crytek to get to the gear box, we're going to work on this next. Um, one thing that I did notice about the gear box I do like is that they have the Phillips head uh, screws, which yeah, they could be stripped out versus other styles. However, uh, they're a little bit easier to access than like your uh, diamonds and other such ones I've seen. And this also does have the quick change spring, which I will get that out first and then we will go ahead and get these uh, screws out. But it looks like it's just a regular uh, Phillips head. So I'll go ahead and get this secured. There we go. So now I've got nice, actually feels pretty heavy duty. And you know, get the spring. So now we've gotten that out. Uh, we'll be able to go ahead and break down the gearbox. Now, with working with full style gearboxes before, the quick change is a lifesaver. The uh, other ones are such a pain to put back together and even break apart. Whoops, wrong way. Now, before we get into that, if you can hit the subscribe button, hit the like, leave your comments. They're important to me. It helps give me some good feedback on things that I can improve or things that you all liked. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. So now that I've got the picture where these screws go, let me get them out of the way and into a bag so they don't get lost. I highly recommend uh, people do this, so that way you don't get screws mixed up. I'm also going to take this part of the ambidextrous off and put that there. So now that we've gotten that, all right, so there's a little screw here, I'm not sure if you can see it. Right here's a small one. I think that one needs to come out as well because I'm feeling tension that in that area. So again, this is my first time breaking on this style gear box. So this does come out. Okay, yep. Yeah. Alright, so that was definitely the uh, little spot now. And here you can actually see into the gear box. So I reckon with taking that out, it'll just pop right through now. Yep. That was an anti-reversal latch, I just heard it kind of pop. Okay, looks like we're good to go. So now we get to the guts of it here. There's a couple, uh, right here, a couple of those shims that came from the top. Uh, it sounded like it was shimmed pretty good, so I don't... Uh, I don't know, I don't think I'd have to reshim it, but I'm not sure if I'm comfortable with those shims. They don't look the best, but anyway. So, just put these back here. So here we are at the inside of the gearbox. Um, Nozzle is going to be getting replaced, cylinder head, probably the cylinder. I'm debating on the bolt. I did get, or not the bolt, the piston. Uh, I did get a different piston, but it's an aluminum one, and I've heard a lot of bad feedback on that, so to be determined. Uh, piston head will be replaced. Um, trigger will be staying there. This unit here for the trigger will be coming out along with uh, their MOSFED, and I mean, the gears look pretty solid. I might leave those in for now and see what they do. If I need to replace the tap up plate, I will, but it depends on if the um, aftermarket nozzle that I'm putting in, if that will fit on it. So, we'll go ahead and 
and I'll break this down so I can get to all the parts that I need. Look at this, first thing I'll do is get uh, this spring off the tap up plate off so we can get that tension out of the way. Okay, so that's popped out. Now I can get to this unit. So, it's the tap up plate, nozzle, pretty basic. Interesting, so they're, this is all like your heavy polymer and the last couple keys are what are the metal. Although they did already have that angle of engagement thing done where the first uh, key is gone. And then that's your piston head. And this is a ported, but it's only a one side ported um, cylinder. That's interesting. Oh, I'll try that a little bit later on. Now we got to that, um, the gears, I'm going to take them out. They do have shims on them, which sounded pretty uh, good, and uh, I think I'll just leave with that. So I'm going to carefully take them out and make sure that I keep the shims that are with it and set these off to the side. Hmm. That didn't have a shim on the bottom. That's weird. All right. So now, let's have to set it down to get this last one out. The anti-reversal latch is kind of in the way of this last. Come on. Okay. That's a, and I set the gears out. I do like that the anti-reversal latch is pretty much like solid in there. Uh, on my bolt one, the um, this would just pop right out. So I'm glad that that's in there because that's like one of the biggest issues for um, trying to reassemble them. Also you'll notice there's this little plastic uh, trying to get the this little plastic cover here coming over your wires coming from where the motor is. That's a nice little feature because it keeps them from possibly potentially popping up and getting ground up. Alright, so let's see which way I want to take this. I'm going to get the trigger out. There's going to be a spring underneath it so I'll have to be there we go. Spring stay right in it. Nice. Okay. One last thing to fight with later. And right, from here, the um, I'm gonna get this MOSFET taken out. Tiny little screws on it. Looks like there's two holding it in place. There's one right here and one right here. Okay, so it's just one that's holding it in place. All right, cool. So now I've got that to here. Now the housing mechanism, or whatever you want to call it, for the trigger, there's one little screw right down there that I can see for sure. I don't think there's gonna be any other ones that I can see. Oh, there is the spring that has to come off as well. So I'll get that spring first. That's good. Tiny little spring. There it is. Okay, so now that we've gotten that out, to the assembly, there's the MOSFET, and the wiring on it is pretty heavy duty. I'm impressed with that, and then of course here's the fuse for it. So anyone that has these uh, style, if you hook up your batteries and you can't seem to get anything to work, sometimes you got to check that fuse. It might have been a possibility that that got blown somehow. All right. So I'm not totally done yet with this. There is still one more thing I need to remove, and that is this uh, little latch right here. Because uh, with the MOSFET that I'm putting in, uh, this will be in the way. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out. There is a spring. Okay. That's good. 
there's a spring that is on the back side of that.